What's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome to Apico. Apico. We are checking out Apico for the first time, and I actually played this a little bit on um, on Misty's computer. It was an absolute blast. So I want to check it out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the things. If you guys, are, if you're interested in like fun, chill, like beehive man, like management, and like getting resources from bees and things like that. If you guys like the Minecraft bees kind of thing, then you'll probably really enjoy this. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop on in. And uh, just check it out. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's start a new world. We'll see how things look. Um, hair color. Let's go with like a red. And what's my name? Z1. All right, set sail. Let's see what we get. So there's all kinds of beasts to explore. There's all kinds of like automation. There's like you you, you eventually start with like nothing, and then you start making money, and then you start like upgrading. You know, different tools, different bees, different hives, different things like that. Crossbreeding, uh, all kinds of fun things. Now, the game does have a free demo you can play. And there's kind of like a lot to the game. So I'm gonna do what I can to kind of explain it as I go. But yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty exciting. So uh, Skipper, we made it. And just time you see a leg, so oh, we're here. Port Apico. Now I think it's Apico. I think it's Apico because it's like Apiary Company, a Apico. So I don't know, we'll see. But uh, how you around, takes you back. Do you still remember your way around the place? Uh, kind of. Take a nap. Anyways, best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier down the street to the left. She's been buzzing ever since your letter. Okay. So we're going to go talk to some people. Now, these people you can talk to, you can actually buy stuff from in the future, like once we start making some money and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, Z1, wonderful to see you. Let me go have a good look at you. Uh, have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Should I put the kettle on? How is the boat over? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get going. I am ready to do some things. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do actually is, um, well, we actually have to open our manual here. So there's like different um, different tasks. Basically, we go here. You can close any books by hitting all menu by pressing escape. We claim we get a free B. Awesome. Getting around. We use WASD to move around. Um, things like that. Now, there is some good information in here, and I'm probably going to skip over some of it, but it's always good back to go back and like just reread it. Um, gathering resources on so you gather 10 wood. So let's kind of figure out where we're going to have our stuff here. Because I want to have like a nice like layout. I'd like to find like a big nice chunk of land, like a big chunk of land. This is kind of small right here. Uh, we might go over here and check this out. Um, so the light blue water, you can actually walk through the dark blue water. You cannot. Oh, this looks like it might be. Oh, this is promising right here. Okay. So this is a big, huge chunk of land. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to harvest some trees. I'm going to clear some things out. We're going to knock out some questies and then we're going to get building our very first bee stuff. Okay. My ax already broke, but that's okay because we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this. That's going to give us a workbench resource management. It's going to tell me that I can pick up stuff, put stuff into crates, which is amazing. Uh, crafting. It wants me to craft a, um, what is this? A work table or a saw bench? Uh, the workbench takes into account all items in um, any open menus, which is super handy because we can do a whole bunch of things with that. So let's get this guy just kind of set down right here. Now we can pick stuff up uh, along the way as well. And we'll go ahead and just set that down right there. So it wants me to craft this guy, which is uh, our saw bench. Okay, so we're going to craft that. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that out of there. We're going to grab this guy. We're just going to throw it right here for now. And then the saw bench allows us to process wood. Now for these first tier items, we actually have to like manually do some of this stuff, which is completely okay because later on there's going to be some things that are kind of automated. So you just have to like do a couple things and then they'll run for a while. Um, but let's go ahead and get like, I don't know. Let's get like 20 of these. Perfect. That looks good. Okay. So let's check our rewards here. Crafting. We got our workbench. We get 20 logs in return for that. That's everything. And then we get a new free ax. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, if we go ahead and make sticks, we'll go ahead and get 50 wood planks. So let's go ahead and make some sticks. Sticks are basically just the planks turned into sticks. Ta-da! I know, it's amazing, right? But what's kind of cool is that you can have multiple of these inventories open. So you can have that one open. We can have this one open up here. And then we can have this one open here and then that allows us to basically work on like all of these all at once so if we get like craft something here we can throw it in storage here and then like if this item needs it it'll pull from storage there super amazing and then we can just hit escape and that basically brings us out of all those menus so 
Um, okay, so like I said, I'm trying to clear some land so we can get some basic things going here. Carpentry 101, let's go and grab that. That'll give us 50 of those. Um, basic tools. So we can craft our own basic tools. We can um, obviously craft a wooden pick. Uh, axe, pickaxe, sh uh, shovel or spade, and then a hammer. Now the hammer is important because that's how we can move stuff around. Um, and then we can also do some base building. So we can actually get some things going. And then we have uh, the menu magic, which we kind of already figured that out. You can move me menus and stuff like that around. Um, this is basically just telling us that we can shift click on things. Now, what's actually also kind of cool. Let's say I have that open, this open. And if I wanted to shift click something, right? It's not going to shift click when I have these open. So if I hit this target menu button right here, boop, it'll go into there. And then like say I hit, um, oh, well, this one I can't target menu, but... Um, if I close that out, then these will automatically go back in my in inventory because I only have one open. So oh, all kinds of fun things, but that's, that's not what we're here for. We're here to get our stuff going. We're here to get some bees going, uh, turn on photo mode by pressing P wonderful. Waiting around, this is going to give us a bench so we can sleep on it to pass through the night. Okay. Enough minor chit chat. I'm going to go through, I'm going to clear out a bunch of all of this and then we'll come back. Okay, so I know I said I was going to be back, you know, we're going to clear all a bunch of stuff. Uh, but this is kind of one of the examples of having menu, multiple menus open. Um, at first, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish these menus would just close. But it's super handy because like this axe right here, I need five planks and ten sticks. Well, I don't have planks or sticks in my inventory. However, I have this crate right here that doesn't have anything. But like these planks right here, if I had these planks in here, it'll pull from here and it'll pull from here to craft it. So I can still craft two more and I don't have to have like, I don't actually have to get all that stuff in my inventory done. So, um, okay, enough chit chat. I'm going to start harvesting all this, all these goodies. Okay, so we got, um, we got this huge area cleaned out. So you can see like, look at all this area. I did go through like four axes in the process, which is okay. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to just drop everything into this inventory for now. Now, what I want to try to do is like, I want to try to get some things set up a little bit early here. Now we need to get some bees. We need to get some beehives. We need to get some bees, but I want to kind of like make an area for the bees and an area for like our stuff. So let's actually kind of see here. If I go on a workbench, uh, what is this? Wood flooring just requires planks. So let's go ahead and let's get some wood flooring here. Do we have like a pathway? I don't think so. I think wood flooring is probably going to be essentially our pathway we also have wood walls and stuff um if we need to build wood walls we can but let's go ahead and let's just get some um let's get some regular flooring in here so i'm going to go ahead and get this put that in there and i'm just going to go back and forth okay so we got some wood flooring here and i kind of want to lay this out can i lay this on the water you can only place this item on land okay I, Cause I was kind of hoping to be able to build a bridge like right across here, but that's okay. So I think our main pathway, let's go up into here like this. Let's go and bring that down here. It's like, there's a little pathway and let's do this, make like a little workshop right in here. I can't place that there. There, now I can. Can I build this here? No, okay, so we have to, it can be out next to the water, it just can't be on the water. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so this will be like a little workshop area. And then from here, let's go ahead and make a little pathway going out this way. And let's go up. Okay, so that will work. Now, I think this area right here, let's go into our workshop. Can we build any fencing right now? Small flower pot, wood panel floor, wood wall. Do we not have any fencing yet? Okay, I don't see any fencing yet, so wood edging, what is this? Decoration, okay. Well, that'll work for now. Because we got all our stuff here, we already, we already got a place. Okay, so now what we need to do, uh, let's actually go ahead and let's craft up. Let's get these three windows open here. Let's craft up our tools that we need. So we need to go into tools. Um, let's go ahead and we need some sticks. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, planks going here. And we'll go ahead and make up one of each of our tools and we'll get the, um, we'll get that task knocked out. 
and then we'll go ahead and start building uh we'll start focusing on the bees all right so there's our hammer that should be everything right oh wait did we already basic tools oh i didn't make an axe darn it all right there we go basic tools fantastic that's gonna give us 50 stone which is super handy uh get building oh i need to build 16 wood walls oh that'll give me a stone hammer all right well i guess let's get the uh let's get 16 stone walls what was that four eight that should be 16 stone hammer very nice paint the town so now we can paint stuff as well not really worried about painting right now but let's go ahead and let's start working on bees so we can find bees basically everywhere um, and there's hives that we can pick up and we can bring them back and then there's also uh flowers so once you collect bees you can get flower or you you bring them back you want to put flowers outside of them because like you need to have flowers outside of bees right um and once the flowers are visited they'll actually like repopulate and grow so that's pretty cool and then eventually later on once we get the extractor we'll be able to get flower seeds from the bees that visit the um the um these type of type of flowers and then we'll actually get new types of seeds from like cross pollination which is pretty cool too so uh, along with other things so we'll get into that here shortly but let's go ahead and let's place down uh let me go ahead and hit e that brings out my full menu oh i must have put it in here where is my where's my bench oh right uh no this guy let's just go ahead and set that down right there we can click on that and then time will pass by much faster all right it is a dawn and uh, also actually we can talk up here day two the time you know you can pass time um rubies and honey core these are like mo uh, like money essentially like you know currency in the game we don't have anything yet but we'll get it don't worry so let's go ahead and um, let's actually clear our inventory out we're gonna go get a whole bunch of bees and i'm just going to uh take bees from around the island i'm not gonna actually work worry about making any beehives right now all i want to do is just take the ones that are around the island and once you uh so if i click on this regularly we can see there's bees in here there's some honeycomb which is all fine and dandy but if i just click on it i get all that stuff anyways so <laughs> might as well um, let's go ahead and let's just collect the things from around here real quick and i think we're gonna have our bees down in this area and then we'll have probably the apiaries and stuff like that up in this area oh actually with the water bees maybe we'll have our bees up in here so we can have some water apiaries because there's none down in here and then we'll have like regular apiaries down there. that sounds that sounds good that sounds good um and then whilst we're doing this i guess i can talk about this too there's different types of bees so we've got forest bees which are found in the forest um you can see that they're forest bees purebred and then we have verge bees which are the ones that we just found in the water there's also common bees there's actually a huge um a huge number of bees like an insane number of bees so you'll see here soon once let's see can i find a regular beehive where's oh, there's a regular beehive right up here okay so i'm gonna take these and then these are regular beehives now some of these bees are blessed bees i'm not exactly sure what that is but i'm gonna keep them separate for now um, but you see common bee common bee uh common bee now there are uncommon bees like rare bees and things like that too so that's where like the bee breeding and stuff like that comes into play so you can get like um other bees that are like are rare and stuff it's pretty cool all right so let's get in here now the reason we want bees the re we reason we want these beehives is because they provide us with honeycomb which early game is what we're what we're gonna need um in order to get some things going so i'm gonna go ahead and place these i'm gonna try to place them as good as i can I wish there was a um i wish there was a way to can i place this right here oh, you know what let me see if i can just pick this up perfect okay so it's right there um i wish there was a way to like grid line everything i actually looked through the mods because there's mod support for this and i did not see anything as far as like a grid mod kind of thing so like you can kind of see they're not lined up that's gonna bother me until like forever but <laughs> it is what it is so okay so now we have a bunch of bees so now what we need to do um let's go ahead and let's get some flowers picked here um, i'm just gonna go around and get some like basic flowers let's see we got some of those some of these probably should go ahead and get some water flowers like some of these things over here floating 
Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and put in like one there. Let's see. Let's do one here, there, and there. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Pop those in there, there, and there. Let's get some of these guys in here. And then let's see. Lily pads. Did we... I don't know if they do anything with lily pads or not, but essentially what these bees will do, they'll come over here, you know, start grabbing this stuff. And then once we start processing um, the, the the stuff out of it, well, not out of these specifically, uh, they won't have a chance to get mixed seeds and like rare seeds and things like that that are hybrids and combinations and stuff. It's pretty cool. It gets pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun, but I've got a lot of bees right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get some, some of these bees to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and mix forest bees and common bees together. Because there's a chance that they can come out with a different type of bee that we're going to need eventually anyways. And then um, I guess I should talk about how the beehive works a little bit here too. So you place two bees in here. This bee down becomes a queen. And what she's going to do is she has a, a lifespan. And in her lifespan, she's going to make honeycomb that's going to fill in these spots right here. Not necessarily all of them. And then when she dies, she's going to have, uh, she's going to lay either, you know, two or three babies or whatever. They're going to go into here. So then once they're done, I can go in here, harvest these bees, put them back in here, grab the honeycomb, um, and so on and so forth. But then as you mix bees, you have a chance to get new bees as well. So that's why I'm trying to mix them. Because all the bees that we have right now, they're, they're nothing crazy. They're nothing special. All right. So all those bees are going. Look at them. Look at all the happy little bees. Oh, we love them. Um, okay. So now we need to get some other things going. So I need to get some bee storage. Now, I don't know if we actually have the capability. Okay. So we have the ability to make bee boxes, which can hold an infinite number of one type of bee. So one type of bee would be... A verge bee so it can hold an infinite number of verge bees uh, or forest bees or common bees now when you start mixing them so if we get like a verge forest bee that's a whole new box so you have to have boxes like for all of these different kind of bees um, so we're gonna be making a lot of boxes so but we need honeycomb in order to do that um, and then when we want to make an apiary we're gonna need honeycomb as well so it's kind of why I want to get some bees going but I was hoping that I could find maybe like an uncommon one somewhere um let's see yeah i don't really see any but you know what that's okay let's go and let's get um let's get some bee boxes going or should i get some apiaries going oh you know what bee boxes require apiaries a basic apiary so you know what let's go ahead and let's just get some basic apiaries going um looks like i can only make one right now because we only have 10 honeycomb anyways uh so let's go and craft that and then we can set this down. And then I'm actually gonna start setting these down here. So these apiaries function a little bit differently. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a B in here. Um, actually, no, I'm not gonna put a B in there yet. Um, because what we wanna do here is we wanna get uh, new, we wanna get frames in here. So when I was talking about these bees, like cross pollinating these flowers and having a chance to get something different, that is true, but not with this beehive. So I need to have the, um, I need to have these different flowers down here because there's these like net screen things that get like weird resources off of them. So like these only get honeycomb and other bees pretty much. Um, and then down here is how we get like um, like honey and like any byproduct that they might make. So let's actually see if I have the stuff to make any of these frames. I don't, I need more honeycomb. So, but we need a lot of wooden frames. We need a lot of honeycomb. That's why I was trying to get these going up uh, as quick as possible. So, I mean, I could actually throw bees into storage, but it's just really not worth it. Uh, you know what? Let's go get, let's go get some more. Let's go get some more hives. Let's go grab this hive over here. If I can get through this forest. So forest bee, do we get any uncommon bees? No, no uncommon bees there. Okay, so now these hives, these hives are done. So a little star on there means the uh, the queen is gone, the hives done. So basically what I can do is I can take these and then I can put this guy back in here. Forest bee, forest bee, forest bee. And I can put these back in here and then take these bees. Now, if I don't want to take these bees, I can throw them into storage right here for now. But I need all of the honeycomb I can get. So we're just going to keep throwing those in there. So since I don't really have um, a whole lot of room for bees here. Verge bee, verge bee, verge bee. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix these up. Uh, let's see, do we have a forest bee? 
I'm gonna go and take these, take these. And what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna select this as target. And I'm gonna throw these into the storage down in here, into the bottom of these beehives. And then those will just hang out in there and they, they won't die or nothing like that. But that'll clear up my inventory for a little bit. And we can go get more hives. Hey, we just picked up a beehive and got something different. What was it? Uh, beekeeping 101. Oh, 10 common bees. 10 honeycomb will give us another 10 honeycomb. Now that you have some bees in beehive, you can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in a slot. All bees produced in natural beehives will do be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of Beatrices. Okay. So, pimp my beehive. This is the honey. This is the apiary. Now, honeycomb is delicious and crunchy. Stop eating it all the time, but there's far more useful things for your bees producing. Uh, for that, you'll need to create your first apiary, which we did, and we need to get some frames. Once you have, um, once you have one, you'll be able to use high frames for gathering produce from your bees. Plus, with an apiary, you'll not only be able to get different and more valuable produce, but you'll also be able to start crossbreeding different bee species and start discovering new ones. So the apiaries is where we're actually going to mix and match and try to get something different. So I think I misread that um, the first time because I, I thought that's what it said to do in the regular beehives. Oh my gosh, look at all the bees that we have going now. <laughs> so many bees, it's so good. Okay, so now that I have some honeycomb, I think we should be able to get some frames going here. Perfect, so let's get one, two. I know we can have three in this one, so let's focus on getting those. Let's get another apiary. And one, two, three. Okay, so that'll give us two apiaries and three um, frames. So now we can start messing with those because like I said, that's, that's where we start getting some product. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in three of those. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in three of those as well. So now, we need to focus on the bees and mix in a match and try and do some things. Um, oh, look at that. We got a bee, Belia's Almanac. Uh, yeah, then we need to get a bee box for sure. Okay, so let's see what bees we have here. Queen has finished her cycle. So I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got a lot to read here. So hybrid queens have a chance to produce hybrid offspring, which have the chance to mutate into an entirely new species. You can use a predictor to see the potential offspring of a queen. This book also gives you um, hints on what species can be combined. You could probably ask Benjamin <laughs> for some helps. So traits part one. Um, if we hover over B, we can see like different traits. Um, so lifespan, productivity, and fertility. Uh, we can also see like different, um, they have different behaviors. These bees are grumpy and won't work with you unless you're you use a smoke with their favorite flowers. Oh my gosh. Let's not get some, uh, let's not get aggressive bees. This is the climate of a queen prefers can be temperate, tropic or polar. Holy moly. And then we have inheritance as well. The crossbreeding, you can get certain traits on a species that would never get them naturally. So this is all fun, kind of cool and fun and dandy, but I think this is, these are probably gonna be things that we focus on later. Right now, I just kind of want to figure out the um, the common bee, the forest bee, the verge bee. And then we need to get this uncommon bee, which I'm pretty sure I know what that one is. Uh, but as you can see, look at all of these bees. There's so many different types of bees to get. It's crazy. So let's grab... I think there's actually a mission right now to try to grab... Oh, yeah, tier one. Whoa. A sacred idol. Ooh. Uh, but I believe there's actually a mission to crossbreeding. So when you create a queen in an apiary, it will inherit a selection of traits from both bees and can become a hybrid. Hybrid queens have a chance that their offspring will mutate to be complete, completely different. To get started, crossbreed a common and a forest bee together into a common forest queen, and then see if you can get a verdant species as one of the offspring. So that's what it wants me to get is a verdant species. So let's see, it said forest and common. So let's grab forest and then let's go see if we can't find common. I need a common bee somewhere. There we go. Okay, so we'll take two commons. And then what I also wanna do is go ahead and grab a couple of these flowers. 
We're going to plant those down in here. And the reason for that, like I said, is to get uh, possibly different seeds. So let's go ahead and mix that and that. And then that one and that one. And then hopefully we'll get a offspring that's a verdant bee. But as these go out and collect, they're going to fill these wooden frames. And then we're going to go ahead and use an uncapper and an extractor and stuff like that to get those, um, you know, remove the goodies out of those. Oh, it's exciting stuff. Okay, I'm going to go and sleep for the night. Um, Yeah. So bees sleep at night. Um, there are other bees that have different traits that work during the night and not during the day. So that's something to keep an eye on. But um, I need honeycomb. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get all of these restarted again. Oh, this bee's about done. And... Boop. End of life cycle. Wow. One. One honeycomb. How terrible. Now, this could also be because they don't have enough flowers. So let's go ahead and pick up some of these flowers, bring them back over. Perfect. Okay, so now we have 33 honeycomb. So I really want to make some boxes. I really want to make some bee boxes to start throwing things in. The problem is that we need, we need so many bee boxes. Um, okay, let's do it. We got to start somewhere, right? So we need an apiary and a large storage for each one. So let's get, uh, let's get this open. Let's get this open. And let's go ahead and make some stuff. Okay, so we should be able to make three bee boxes. Oh, fantastic. Okay, that is such a good feeling. All right, let's go ahead and close out of all those. And let's get our bee boxes. So our bee boxes, I think we're going to put them right here. Perfect. Okay, so now what I can do is we can go ahead and we can throw in... Let's start with common. So we're going to throw common bees in here so now this box can only be commons and actually can we throw a common queen okay cool and then let's go ahead oh, let's close out of that we're gonna go ahead and throw in forest bees in there and if it doesn't work it'll just hover there and it won't work and then let's go ahead and throw verge So now what we got going on, so these bee boxes, now you see we have three of these same stat bees. I can bring them over here and I can just collect, like, oh, if I need one, I can throw it in here, two, three, whatever. But I don't need any right now. I need them to be stored. Okay, so all my hives are cleared out. Um, now you can see we've got uh, verges in there, we've got forests in there, we got common in there. So we have 26 bees in there, 21 bees in there, 15 bees in there, <laughs> quite a few. But now, oh, undiscovered. We've got it. So this must be the vibrant. Um, okay, so this is the verdant bee. Special produce. Fill frames using this species to learn more. So we need to take these into um, a microscope. Conservation status is lost. Rehabilitate more bees to save the species. Now, you might be wondering, well, what the heck do you do with all these bees? There is a, it's called a rehabilitation box. And essentially you put bees in there and they get released into the wild. Now, if they're a, um, a, a bee like the verdant bee, where it says it's like species is nearly lost, that will go towards making them so they're more common again. Um, basically rehabilitating the, the species, if you will. So that's super exciting. I can't believe we got the one the first try. Uh, forest common, forest common. So now that these are forest commons, we need a new box. That's right. We need a we need a we need a forest common box. Um, so we got verdant bee common, forest common, forest common. So we need forest common box now. And yeah, it gets kind of uh, it gets kind of wild with how many different bee boxes and stuff like that there are. But um, if you stay on top of it and stay kind of organized, it is very helpful, um, super helpful. So now we have our filled frames, but. That is going to end this episode because I feel like we've done a lot and I feel like I've been talking this entire time. So it's probably a long episode. I'm sorry. I just actually am really enjoying this game. Um, we'll play a couple more episodes on it and then, um, you know, just probably probably leave it alone. I just wanted to kind of show it off, see what show what, show what it's about. You know, I'm not looking to try to beat the entire game. But if you guys enjoy it and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.